Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is Mary Amondo in charge of training and career advisory services here at Corporate Staffing. And today I am joined by a special guest who will be expounding more on the Train the Trainers course. Thank you so much Godfrey for joining me. Pleasure, always a pleasure to be here. Great. We are talking about Train the Trainers course and uh, maybe you can start by first of all introducing yourself and a brief background of how you landed into the profession of training trainers. All right, thank you, Mary. Uh, and I'm really pleased to share my thoughts around uh, training of trainers, also called um, Train the Trainer course. Mm -hmm. About myself, I've been uh, doing trainings for the last, I, I, I should say, close to over 10 years. I say so because my first, uh, first job is um, I began my career as a, as a banker. So basically, my role was a financial advisor and uh, in the course of advising, also training. Mm -hmm. So training people on financial literacy is where my training began. Mm -hmm. So from there, I wanted to hone my skills around this more. So I found myself uh, training, uh, teaching in a high school. From there, I got an opportunity to work with the USAID programs whereby I now got to encounter training of uh, adults for the first time and it has been fascinating for the last uh, close to seven years I must say um, uh, training adults it's it's fun it's impactful and it's very fulfilling mm -hmm. so that's how I found myself training um, adults mm -hmm. I have uh, done this to the level that I'm now able to also help other trainers or other individuals who are looking also to get into this space of uh, uh, trainings mm -hmm. because it's indeed very different from teaching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. As the lead trainer for Train the Trainers course here at Corporate Staffing Services, maybe to begin with, who is this course designed for? So as Corporate Staffing, we are accredited by NITA to offer this uh, course train the trainer course and it's designed for anyone who is looking to venture into training it could be anyone in the professional space as a as a manager supervisor looking to build capacity within the team basically knowing how to share the knowledge you have as a, an experienced employee as a supervisor as a manager also, it, it's designed for entrepreneurs who are looking to venture into this space of, uh, of training because we get to take you through uh, what it takes to run a successful uh, training, uh, how to do budgeting, how to quote, how to price your trainings, basically. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, this is a course that is designed for anyone who has the desires to see people get better at what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has uh, the responsibility of uh, imparting skills and knowledge mm -hmm. to adults, because adults learn differently. Mm -hmm. they, you don't dictate, you don't give them notes, mm -hmm. you don't give them exams. Mm -hmm. They learn by being involved. So anyone out there, be it in the corporate space or otherwise, be it in the academia you're teaching uh, adults, and then this is a course for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. I'm um, looking at, in terms of the content, what should one expect when they sign up for the Train the Trainers course? How is the course structured? Amazing. So this course is very practical to begin with. However, the beginning point is uh, understanding what is a training. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we are looking at the distinction between teaching and training. Once we have understood what training is all about. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the next step is to understand what informs a training. So we are looking at the entire journey from beginning to the end. And beginning, we are looking at training needs assessment. How do you do training needs assessment? Mm -hmm. How do you do planning uh, for the trainings within an organization or a plan to just build capacity of uh, people? whether for purposes of just knowledge or getting better at delivering the objectives of their work. Mm -hmm. 
So after that, we look at then the way adults learn. What models will inform this transfer of skill, knowledge, concept? Basically, how will you ensure that learning is happening? And at this point, we are looking at uh, instructional design models. Mm -hmm. So we look at different models that will now inform how adults appreciate new knowledge, appreciate new ways of doing things. And um, of course, we will uh, go further and look at uh, how do you design now the training itself in terms of uh, the starting point whereby you're getting to understand the gaps and how do we close these gaps. Mm -hmm. After that, we're looking at how do you now come up with content. Uh, any trainer out there, I would say, it doesn't matter how many years you've been in training. Mm -hmm. Every time you're training someone that you've never trained before, there is need for you to go back to the drawing board and tailor that content to that individual, mm -hmm. to the uh, prevailing circumstances under which that scope is, or that training is being delivered. Mm -hmm. So how do you now come up with all this uh, content? And having content is one thing, making that content to be understood mm -hmm. it's completely is a problem. Different. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So here we're looking at delivery. How do you deliver this uh, content? Remember, adults learn differently. So we get to talk about the adult learning principles, mm -hmm. also commonly known as um, uh, andragogy principles. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one for pedagogy is now for, 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 for children. For children. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also get to share tips on uh, how do you ensure that your training is as engaging as possible. Mm -hmm. How do you ensure that it's not boring? Because if you are delivering trainings that are boring, uh, it's not the people you're training. Mm -hmm. Neither is it the content. the content. It is you. The trainer. The trainer. <laughs> you are the problem. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we get to talk about what are some of the things that you can do to ensure that the training is both fun mm -hmm. and impactful. Because adults, that is what makes sense to them. It must be relevant. It must be fun. And they must also see... Uh, their place in it so they want to be involved in the learning mm -hmm. and finally we look at training evaluation uh, how how is uh, trainings assessed there are different levels we look at the different models of evaluating trainings and finally we also get to look at uh, self-awareness because as human beings we're unique we're different some trainers uh, of course are more structured others are not mm -hmm. so who, what is your style? Mm -hmm. So once you do self-awareness, it means now in your trainings, you're more intentional, you're more deliberate, which is a great plus. Great. Yes. This course is mainly, mainly we deliver it online. And uh, someone could be wondering how practical is the course? If I sign up, how do I get to practically do master the, to be a good trainer? Ah, great. Uh, thank you, Mary, for the question. Because even if you look at... Uh, how most trainings are happening today because of uh, thanks to covid mm -hmm. uh, people have now appreciated uh, uh, virtual trainings mm -hmm. and uh, this training also it can be done both in person and also virtually mm -hmm. so for the virtual program uh, the first the final bit of the training is where now every participant in the program is given a topic to research to prepare, come up with content, and train uh, the rest of the class, mm -hmm. uh, what we are calling micro-training, mm -hmm. as a way of us evaluating, have you, have you mastered the skill? How are you doing your training? How are you doing the introduction? Mm -hmm. and, and basically, how are you ensuring that it's relevant uh, to the participants mm -hmm. that you're training? Mm -hmm. So it's very practical in that sense mm -hmm. because you you get to test yourself. Even if you've never trained before, you now get to do it. Great. Yes. Any final advice as the lead trainer for Train the Trainers course that you might have for any professional looking to validate their skill set as a trainer? Great. Uh, my advice to anyone watching us, Mary, is that uh, you could be there either as a manager 
or as a staff or a supervisor who would want to build capacity of your team. Mm -hmm. This is a course that you should not miss because in one way or another we all endeavor to get better mm -hmm. and one of the ways is to share the skill, what we know to those that are coming after us because in, in terms of managing uh, succession planning is to share what we know with the rest. Mm -hmm. So therefore anyone watching us, I would advise that these are program not to miss. Mm -hmm. You not only get to learn how to train, but also you network with other professionals. Mm -hmm. You get to uh, pick what has worked for them that could work for you. You also get into this new network of trainers uh, that becomes an invaluable asset in terms of if you wanted uh, a trainer in a particular space, then we get to meet all of us. There. Mm -hmm. yes. Great. I love the last part, on, especially on networking, yes. being we have professionals from different industries signing up for the course. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you so much, Mary. Great. Indeed, as you have heard, the Train the Trainers course is a key skill that you require to have if you're looking to build your capacity to become good at delivering your training programs, then this is the right course for you. The link below will uh, take you to our landing page where you get to share your details and we will be able to reach out to you with details on our next upcoming class. We look forward to having you join the other professionals who have already signed up for the upcoming class. Thank you so much for watching.